Hey internet, so I'm not sure if you're aware or not, um, but Australia is currently having this postal plebiscite, which is basically for us to vote whether we want gay marriage to be legal or not, in essence. They've decided to do this postal vote thing just to get a general consensus of what everyone feels, because apparently the Prime Minister doesn't want to vote something in that he's basically scared that people are gonna vote him out for voting in. Does that make sense? Obviously if you're an Australian watching then you'll probably know what's going on, but if not, then that's kind of what's going on. The argument from young people is that they're doing a postal vote because the majority of young people and the majority of people who are gonna vote yes, which are the young people, don't use the postal system. And I just think it's bullshit. If we were to do a Twitter poll, imagine how different the votes would be. All those old people that are stuck in their ways, or those middle-aged men who have fragile masculinity, they aren't going to be on Twitter, just like a lot of young people aren't going to really use the postal system. Not saying that everyone doesn't know how to use the postal system, we do, but a lot of young people aren't going to be bothered. They're not going to be bothered to go to the post office or whatever is even involved. I don't even know how it's going to work. All I know is I'm enrolled to vote and I'm going to be participating in this vote, which isn't even a vote, like, it's not a vote, it's just like a general consensus of seeing where everyone's at, which is, again, ridiculous. My two cents is everyone should be able to get married, it's a basic human right, the government has no right to, to hold it from people, to keep people from being able to get married because they're meant to be secular, it's meant to be a secular state, you're not meant to let the church influence any of your decisions, and that's definitely what's happening. And I just really don't understand this view that these people have, that having parents of the same sex, like having two mums or having two dads, is gonna mess up these kids. Like, I heard on this radio show the other day, I'll, I'll try and remember to insert some footage of it, this guy was basically saying, that the kids, it's cruel to the kids to give them gay parents, which I just really don't get. In having sex, yeah. you say, is not normal. Two gays can already have a baby without getting married. Uh, I just I just think that's, I think that's the pinnacle of cruel, you know? Like, well, I don't you wanna... are I don't, I don't... See you later. Yeah, but... What a Thanks, Carl. Masquerading. To be... I'm not a homophobe. I know gays. But it's not normal. Go away, you peasant. You don't need a mum and a dad as long as you have two parents, like you're set. I don't know, I just don't understand how you could have that much hate in your life. At the end of the day, how is gay people getting married going to affect your life? I really don't think it is. I think everyone should be entitled to the same rights, no matter who you are, no matter how you express yourself, no matter what colour your skin is, no matter who you want to bang or who you want to love. And really, is it that different to what's happening now? What is marriage going to change? Because you still have gay couples, you still have gay people adopting, you still have a lot of gay relationships, you still have gay people living together, you still have like everything that comes with marriage anyway, all it is is just giving them the opportunity to make it legal like everyone else. And I just really don't see how that's gonna change anything or gonna be even slightly an issue. I also think it's ridiculous that Australia is so behind, like every other country has made it legal. I don't see why it's not legal. It's, to me, it's the same thing as back in the day, the whole racism thing and thinking that blacks and whites couldn't segregate because they had different skin color. Like, all it is is someone that's slightly different to you and you don't understand that. I'd also just quickly like to talk about the people who aren't gay, who are kind of like, oh, yeah, like, that's fine, like, I'm, I'm pro-gay and I'm pro-gay marriage and I'm, I'm gonna, like, I'm happy for it to happen, but I can't be bothered to vote because, like, it's not like it affects me. That is so small-minded and that just really grinds my gears because at the end of the day, you can make a difference and you can change people's lives and you shouldn't not vote because you can't be bothered because you think it'll get passed anyway, like they don't need my vote. Every vote counts and if we're overloading them with yes votes then surely they will see the picture. So please, if you are enrolled to vote in Australia, make sure that you vote yes for gay marriage equality. And honestly, 
I've never been the type of person to push a view down people's throats, but I really don't see how you can vote no. If you're voting no, then you're taking something away from someone that you have no right to do. Everyone should be entitled to the same rights, the same concept of being able to marry who they love. Love is love at the end of the day, so please don't be a hater and hate on love. Vote yes for marriage equality. Australian vote, just watch out for it. It's coming. And we gotta keep pushing. It's still so beyond me that we're still fighting for this. And even feminism, we're still fighting for equal rights for women. It's the 21st century and we're still so behind in just general decent humanity, you know? Anyway, that is my two cents. Hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! I met a girl in love